you've had all the nine dock that's where the big, the big Pacific boats came in, all the big Yankee boats. The, the liners went into nine, eight dock. The strewn boats went into seven dock, you see, and they, they carried all chemicals. Uh, and then you went in the uh, six dock, beginning seven dock as well, where they had the lamp black. And you could come home of an evening, have a wash, get near a fire, and you come out in your pores and you'd be black again. It was like oil in your skin. And it's like uh, if you was on, say, a banana boat and you get weevils, look at we all over your clothes, then you'd ask for more money. Now, more money was only asking for a penny or an eight an hour. You know what I mean? That one pence an hour. And they refuse you. So then they, they stopped the job. And so they got the more money. And that's why they used to call them the, the wildcat strikes. But fancy going home into your house. You, you had to shake your clothes before you went in. Because it was on your clothes, literally on your clothes. And if you shoot them, to be over your backyard. And this is what people could never understand. They used to say, oh... The duckers are at it again, but they don't know how hard it was and the conditions that they worked under. Uh, my father worked there for 35 years. As I say, he was a ship's rigger during the war. He worked for Endersons on Trafford Road, the block and tackle people, him and my uncle uh, Edward. And then after the war, because it, th th those men were classed as, as being in the Merchant Navy, you see. <clears throat> now after the war, he went on the dock, and he, he, he was uh, one of the leading ones there, my dad. And he, my dad got me on, you see. And he taught me the ropes, because you had to learn it yourself. You'd get advice, but if you didn't pull your weight, Somebody will let you know about it. You know what I mean? There was no saying, like today, oh, we'll have half an hour. There was none of that. You worked straight away through. But you got one guy who went for the tea to Shanghai's. That was on the Broadway. Now, uh, you used to get a big bacon butter there for sixpence and ninepence, and you'd get half a pound of bacon virtually on the butter. And it was used to be from... Half past six of the morning, that place used to be even. You, know, you used to get big mugs of tea, and you'd be all there. What job are you on today? Or where are you at? And what are you? If you're in control, you know, you had to be there for quarter to eight. You know, before quarter to eight, I should say. Because come eight o'clock, they used to shut them gates, and nobody got in. I only left because we had the 16-week strike... And shortly after that, um, we couldn't get no money off them. The, I think the uh, the unions give us uh, a pound a week, and we had to go to on the national assistance for your wife and children. And then they refused money for myself because the work was there. But you couldn't do it, otherwise you'd be called a scab. And then you was you was blacked on the docks and nobody had mad the way. You was happy to go to work because you knew that somebody in that gang is gonna make you laugh. And that's all about and uh when we got paid on a Thursday, that was the, the night out for the lads. They all went on the on Cross Lane there because there was a dozen or one pubs you know what I mean and they used to say if you drank one thimble and start on Cross Lane in the uh, ship then double it up to two then four then six and so on all the way through and back again you couldn't make it because there was that many pubs <laughs>